Hi, this is Ashley Latter here. I want to talk about one of the most important skills that you can develop in a consultation, and that is the skill of becoming an outstanding listener. There's many types of listening that I find you can ignore completely, or maybe you listen selectively, often known as men type listening. Another type of listening I find most people uh, conduct is what I call listening to respond. And listening to respond is this. Do you ever find yourself, as you're listening to the patient, you are thinking what you're going to say back. And as soon as there's a gap, you go straight in with your solution. And that's called listening to respond. Now the major problem with that type of listening is this. You can't listen and think what you're going to say back at the same time. So what you need to do is really focus on becoming genuinely interested and listen to understand and really listen hard to what the patient is saying or in some cases what they're not saying. So here's five quick tips on becoming an outstanding listener. Tip number one is this, is when you're in a consultation, sit opposite from the patient and look at them, have good eye contact. Don't look away, have really good eye contact and focus yourself on the patient. Number two is ask lots of questions. I know this sounds like it's common sense, but the problem is common sense isn't common. So be ready, listen hard and ask lots of questions. Become genuinely interested in what the patient's saying. Like I said in previous videos, the more the patient talks, the better the consultation will be. Number three, make notes. Or if you don't want to make notes, make sure your nurse at the side, she can take notes. And that way she's getting involved in the consultation as well. So please make notes. Number four is this, summarize. Summarize is probably one of the best strategies and tips that I can share with you. And a summary is, as you've listened to the patient, summarize back to them using exactly the same words that they have used back to you. So you start a summary by saying, Mrs. Patient, thanks for sharing this with me. Let me summarise back to you what you've just told me. Mr. Jones, thanks very much. Let me summarise or let me make sure I fully understand what you told me. And then recall back to the patient exactly what they've more or less said word for word. So after a summary, one of the most important, number five important strategies is a don't. Please never finish off your patient sentences. Sometimes, if there's a bit of silence, that's a good thing because your patient's really thinking hard. So I urge you to practice your listening. Speak to your nurse, find a way of how you can improve your listening. But remember, become genuinely interested in your patient. Once you do that, you will find that they will become genuinely interested in what you've got to offer. So please, I urge you, become an outstanding listener. Become genuinely interested in what your patient's saying. Remember to listen to every single word that they're saying. I once heard a great saying that the more you learn, the more you will earn. The more you become interested in the patient, the more likely they will become interested in what you've got to offer. And when that happens, you will see your treatment plan acceptance significantly increase so that you can then do the dentistry that you love to do. But most importantly, your patients also want. What you need is a pen and paper. And as I give you these questions, please write down your answers. Now, as it is a listening quiz, I'm only going to ask each question once. So if you don't hear, you have to write your answers down. Okay?